in order to answer this question we need to understand what is meant by insertional inactivation in certain bacteria the circular genetic material called plasmid has variety of genes these genes can be for antibiotic resistance or these genes can be for producing certain enzymes so we are talking about a particular gene called Z gene and it is responsible for producing an enzyme this enzyme is called beta galactosidase this enzyme beta galactosidase is responsible for converting a white substance called X gal X gal which is white gets converted into a blue product and this conversion takes place in presence of beta galactosidase if this gene Z gets inactivated now how would this gene get inactivated suppose we introduce an insert an insert can be any desired genetic material which you want to be transferred into another bacterium or a host cell if this insert is introduced in between the Z gene then after insertion the plasmid would look slightly different in the sense that Z gene is broken and in place of this in between the Z gene the insert has been incorporated or in other words we can say that Z gene has been inactivated why inactivated because now this gene has been broken there is something else in between it so it will not be able to function now let us go back to our original thing if this Z gene gets inactivated if it gets inactivated means beta galactosidase will also not be produced if beta galactosidase is not there white substance will remain white will not change into blue product so our question is regarding what will happen with the recombinant bacteria recombinant bacteria is the one where the Z gene has been inactivated if it is inactivated that means the white substance that is X gal remains as white and it will be seen in the form of white colonies in the blue colonies the blue colonies appear blue because here the gene has not been destroyed or inactivated so our answer should be option A which says insertional inactivation of beta galactosidase in recombinant bacteria